my course, Game Development Basics. I'm Jim. The point of this course is to give beginning developers the tools required to start their careers making games. This course will be 24 weeks long, and each week we're going to build upon the lessons taught in the previous weeks. By the end of the 24 weeks, the hope is you have all the tools required to begin your journey making the game of your dreams or starting your career at a studio. This is the breakdown of the 24 weeks. It's divided into three sections. In section one, we're going to start with an introduction to game development using Unreal Engine Blueprints. This section will start from the ground up, so even someone with little to no knowledge of using Unreal Engine should be able to start in this course, and by the end of the eight weeks, they should have a good foundation to build upon. In section two, we're going to switch to Unity, and we're going to learn some intermediate game programming. Unity is another very powerful game engine, and I believe it's a great next step after learning Unreal Engine Blueprints. In section three, we go back to Unreal Engine and we start to learn the basics of C++ with some additional game programming skills. During this 24 weeks, we'll make 10 projects that you can use to start your game development portfolio. And these projects serve as excellent templates for a fully developed and even released game. So here's a few things that you can expect from this course. This course will teach you some game development basics and it's going to teach you some basic programming principles using Unreal Engine, C Sharp, and C++. We'll learn some common design patterns used in game development, and we'll demonstrate how to apply those skills across multiple prototype games. As I said, there's 10 projects total that we're going to create throughout this course. And I firmly believe that by the end of this 24-week course, you'll have all the skills that you need to start on your own personal projects or to collaborate with a team. And here's some things that you cannot expect from this course. We're not going to learn every aspect of Unreal Engine and Unity. These game engines are way too powerful to cover in 24 weeks, so we're going to spend some time learning the tools available to you, and then the expectation is that you continue to learn after this course and develop those skills further. This course will not teach you advanced programming principles. This is not a programming course. It is a game development course where we learn some programming skills. This course will not spend time getting into the details. We have a lot to cover in 24 weeks, so I'm going to give you the basics and the expectation is that you spend some time on your own continuing to learn. This course will not create a polished game for you. The projects we're going to make are prototypes that you can then build upon further to develop your portfolio. And this course will not provide the source control for any of the projects. And this may be a question that some of you are asking that I just wanted to cover quickly. Why Unity and UE5? Why not just focus on one? Or why not make two different courses? My goal is to expose people to different game engines. I want you to learn the similarities, the differences, and the advantages and disadvantages of multiple game engines. I think this encourages developers to think more abstractly, meaning you're not trying to learn how something works in a game engine, you're thinking about it on a conceptual level. How does it work, period, and then you're using a game engine to accomplish it. I also think that learning both Unity and UE5 helps you diversify your skills and your portfolio. And I also know that some people can find it a little bit jarring to go from Blueprints directly to C++. Unity in C Sharp is an excellent way to fill this gap because C Sharp is a very intuitive programming language and it's easy to go from Blueprints to C Sharp and then apply that knowledge from C Sharp to C++. And I wanted to end with a few tips to help you get through this course. The first tip is to try to keep a good pace. It's okay to get a bit ahead or behind but the course really is designed so that you can spend about four hours per week on the content and build upon those skills outside the course. Now there's nothing preventing you from just going through the whole course in one sitting, but I think it's better to learn over time and have a little bit of a gap between the content each week. My next recommendation is to try to complete all the content in order. In the beginning, some of the lessons are gonna be pretty basic. And if you've already spent some time in these game engines, you're gonna already know most of the content we cover, at least in the first two weeks. 
The course, though, is designed to build upon knowledge each week, so I would encourage you to go through it anyways, and who knows, you may learn something. My next tip is to use resources when you get stuck. And my first recommendation is to always try to go to the Unreal documentation first. See if you can find the answer there. It may just be that you're misunderstanding how something should work, and sometimes reading the documentation is enough to clear this up. The next is every programmer's trusty friend, Google, and I recommend you try to Google the question next. You may be surprised that someone in the past has had the exact same problem you have, and you'll find a solution rather quickly. There's also a lot of online communities out there to help you either through Discord or Reddit. So next, reach out to the communities and see if you can find the answer that way. And if none of those work, please feel free to drop something in the comments. I'll try my absolute best to get to every question that I see. And my last tip is to challenge yourself. Even if some of this content may seem a little bit easy, I encourage you to try your best, challenge yourself where you can, and really get the most out of this content. And that sums up this course overview. I hope to see you in the next lesson. Thank you.